So greetings and very good day to you and welcome to our latest Be Entrepreneur uh, video interview. Today I'm with Dr. Raj Kerwin, who's the uh, developer and designer, or actually the, the artist behind the building of the Alcoda language and actually lives in my university city of Manchester. So welcome Dr. Raj, how are we doing? I'm very well, thanks Mike. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about your background, where, where you've come from, what's been your journey. Okay, um, I'm a researcher, um, ex from ICI and ABB. Um, I have a PhD in computer science, uh, and that is in um, uh, search. Um, I invented a way to give machines a memory. I did my PhD at uh, Loughborough University under Professor James Alty. Um, but I've been working in, um, in knowledge management, in language design, and those uh, kind of areas for quite a long period of time in my life. Um, and it's actually that experience that's brought me to the point where I could uh, invent and design the O language. So you've actually invented a language? Yeah, which, um, which is quite, well, it's quite a strange thing because um, you might think to yourself, why do we need another language in the world? We've got so many languages. But actually that's kind of the point. O is about a response to the number of different languages we have, uh, the different frameworks, the different environments that you have to code for. Uh, when I started coding, you had one thing to do, just one language. Um, and now um, you might have to deal with three, four different languages in the stack to be able to just produce a simple application or a website. So O is a response to all of that. It brings um, you into one space, and then that one space actually writes those other languages for you. Um, so you have less complexity to deal with. Right, so it's kind of like instead of dealing with a number of different European or, or Arabic languages, you're just dealing with one kind of language. Is that what you're saying? Or? Yeah, um, O is actually an example of automatic coding. Um, and sometimes that um, strikes fear into the hearts of developers because uh, no piece of software can code in the way that you can. Um, but actually, um, O is taking a very well-trodden path. Um, compilers rearrange code all the time for developers. And O does the same thing. It generates the expert code in all those other environments you would have written if you understood them. So it's like a universal translator for code. O coder stands for? Yeah, so uh, O coder is a portmanteau between automatic and coding. Um, so that's where the name comes from. Uh, and the O language is, is just the shortened form of that. So we lovingly refer to it as O. <laughs> That's how we say it. Okay. Uh, some people call it AU, but it, we pronounce it as O. O. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So tell me, because we're here in Bahrain, why have you brought O to Bahrain? What's that about? Um, I think the same problem with development exists all around the world. And here in Bahrain, you have um, all the kind of issues that we're seeing in England, that we're seeing in um, America. Um, there's more software to write. There are less developers who are capable to write that software. And so actually finding developers to uh, fulfill your vision in software is actually very difficult. Um, but then there's a lot of youth uh, who actually want to get into technology. So programming and technology is an aspirational skill. Um, but how do you get into that kind of area if you can't um, get any experience, if uh, people aren't going to give you a start? Um, so we're here really to show how uh, you know, young kids can learn O um, and become software developers but without having to take two or three years worth of experience to do that, O is a language which rapidly accelerates you uh, into development. So after two weeks of full-time development, you can actually tackle quite complicated projects. Um, so that's 80 hours worth of development, and at the end of it, um, you're able to write software. Um, and we've proven that, so we have young kids, we employ only graduates in England, um, and we take them through the training course, and at the end of it, we put them onto a real-world project, and then in that project, um, they are supported by others, but by about four weeks in, they've stopped asking questions and they're actually contributing to the team. So we feel that here in Bahrain, we can do the same kind of thing. You have all the same kind of problems, but it's a, a smaller marketplace so that we can actually come and try out the features of O uh, and uh, show you how you can get Bahraini youth actually into development supporting your businesses. And of course, Bahrain's got quite a high educational kind of value, so we, we've got a lot of graduates who are interestingly enough, unemployed at the moment. So I well, that's part of the strategy. And um, so when I was a kid, um, getting into software development was something which I did um, in my spare time. Um, I wasn't playing on an Xbox. I was writing the games which I couldn't afford. Uh, but kids today, they, um, they want to get into development, but they spend a lot of time actually um, dealing with IT and technology, but not actually really getting under the skin of it. So I always response to um, all of that. And it's it's, it's us trying to say, well, you can also have a career in development, and it's exciting and it's fun. 
So it's our way of actually getting the, those highly educated kids into something which is meaningful and can use their talents and skills. And that's one of the reasons why we're um, partnering with Tam Keen here um, in Bahrain and also um, looking to partner with the university. Because it's actually um, the youth that we want to you know, excite about O so that this can be the language for them, it's the language for their generation. But you still, you still presumably follow, there's a, there's a, because I mean, the old school I come from, we had the old V model where you had to, you go through requirements gathering and then you get to the actual development and then you've got all the testing phrases that come out and all that sort of thing. So you're still doing that, you're just saying, where, where do you shorten the time? Because you keep saying, this is much quicker. Why yeah. Is it quicker? yeah. Well, well, first of all, it's quicker because it actually writes all the other languages for you, so you're not having to write those. So one O program can turn into four different programs, which you'd have to, um, you'd have to write individually. Um, but also it's, it, it's um, quicker because the language is more efficient. Um, so you write less lines of O and you generate lots more code on the output. But all of that doesn't mean to say you don't have to have good project management and you don't have to have uh, an idea of where you're going. So O is really a response for developers so that those developers can actually be more effective. Uh, and then how you build your product, how you build your business around uh, your developers is, is the skill of your team. And it contains the project managers and, and the rest of that stuff. So you've been, you've been doing some work with Paul Groom, who's a, a local friend of ours uh, in Bahrain. One of the points he makes is he's think global but deliver local. Uh, and that's kind of, so this is, this is ideally what you're saying, is let's train the locals to actually do the, the global thinking. Is, is that kind of where you're going? Well, I, I think that actually um, you know, is our philosophy throughout. Um, essentially what we want to do is um, find areas where we can um, enthuse uh, and excite people to get into the O programming language because it's a paradigm shift. There's something uh, different happening here in O. And if, uh, if we're going to deliver software to the scale that we want to with all the different types of technologies that are coming uh, to fruition, such as 5G and the Internet of Things, those kind of things, we're going to have to write more software. If we continue writing software at the speed at which we're writing it now, it's going to take us a long period of time to write the level of software that we need. And so O is a response to that. But if you go to an experienced developer and you say to them, um, come and learn this new programming language, um, they're actually thinking, well, I'm doing Python or I'm doing C Sharp and I'd like to stay with that because that's my current job. But if you say to, um, to a kid coming out of university, hey, look, here's a language that you can learn and actually enables you to gain um, quick experience so you can actually be useful and also get a job. Um, and then when you're in that job, be productive and contribute to uh, the success of that business. Well, that's an open door. So actually, um, we want to you know, find areas where there are high intelligence kids coming out of university who want to learn new technologies and then empower them with the O language and uh, give them all the training and everything else they need to actually be able to succeed. Um, our model with O is slightly different than you find with other languages. So um, most languages will free issue the compiler and make you pay for all the training. Um, we don't want the kids to pay for any more training. They've already been to university, they've already incurred significant costs. So what we want to do is free issue all the training. And if a business then says that they want to use the O compiler to produce a commercial product, it's the business that pays for the product that you can then use to write the software. An interesting approach, and it's actually, I would think, could work quite well, one would hope. So tell me a little, uh, we, we've heard a lot about the language and that sort of thing. How do you, how do you see this fitting with Bahrain over the next five years? You said you, you mentioned Tamkeen, so obviously you're partnering with them. So what, yeah. what's the view, what's the plan? So partnering with Tamkeen is really about giving incentives um, to the kids to actually pick up and learn and making it as cheap as possible for those guys to actually get access to the O compiler itself. Um, I always deliver it as a hermetically sealed environment in the browser. You just get your subscription to that and then you can do everything you need to do. Um, and the kind of things you can do are write iPhone apps, Android apps, websites, databases, middleware. So you can really cover the entire um, spectrum of software development. And so we're partnering with Tam Keen so we can actually um, provide those environments um, as cheaply as possible to the students uh, and also partner with the university. But ultimately, um, what we'd like to do is actually extend the learning of O directly into university courses. Um, so if you can actually go to university and learn O and then come out into industry and then be um, someone who can contribute to um, the success of a local business, that would be great. Um, so we're trying to do that here in Bahrain and we're also looking to that with other universities around the world because the model itself actually works um, everywhere when you start to look at training kids in a new language to be more productive across all platforms uh, and all technology stacks. Cool. So 
we're, we're an entrepreneurial magazine, so obviously the, the, the final question I need to ask you really is, is like going forward as an entrepreneur, how is O going to help me as an entrepreneur? So if I was on the outside looking in and I was starting um, uh, a new business, I'd be looking for those technologies that would make my journey in technology easier. Um, and if I could see a paradigm shift coming, and O is really a paradigm shift, it's about changing the way that we write software so we can write less software but actually still deliver on time in full, um, I'd be riding that wave. I'd be grabbing hold of that technology to get business advantage. Uh, and O gives you business advantage in that way. If, um, if it takes me nine months to get to market with my product, then I've got to wait nine months and incur nine months' worth of cost. If I can do that in three to six months, I can probably enhance my product with two cycles in a year rather than the one. That gives me advantage over um, the other people in the industry, the incumbents. Um, I'm already trying to disrupt, so I'm already trying to um, figure out ways that actually I can improve on the process. But if I can do that quicker, then actually that really does give me um, so real advantage. So you the market much quicker is what you're saying, so you get the value from, from the, the, the faster delivery. You get the value from the faster delivery, you get the value from the fact that actually there's already a resource pool available. Um, you know, developers at the moment are really scarce and keeping hold of developers is really hard because they're moving you know, with the jobs. But actually being able to go to um, the graduate pool and take on a graduate with the O compiler and still do the work of someone who's got five, ten years experience and all the energy as well that those kids bring to your business. I mean, we employ quite a lot of graduates and they really do supercharge the energy in our in our company. So all of that stuff, actually, if you're an entrepreneur starting a business, is really important. So I'd be riding the paradigm shift and riding the wave uh, to make sure that I can get to market faster. So we, we talked about using graduates and, and introducing graduates to real life online businesses and this sort of thing. Have you got some examples you can share with us? What, what have you been doing? Uh, well, actually, yeah, we've got lots of examples of that. Um, about three years ago, we took the decision to um, stop employing experienced staff uh, because well, we have the O compiler, and um, our target is graduates, so why not really um, you know, put our money where our mouth is? So we only started to employ graduates, and in recent times, we started to employ um, undergraduates on their year in industry. And we take them through the same process. So we give them two weeks' worth of training, and then we put them into a project team, and we start them on a real-world project. Um, we're lucky enough to have worked with um, some great companies, so we do work for PwC, for Marks and Spencers, and our graduates have written all the software for those guys, having come from a two-week basis. So they do the two weeks' worth of training, go on to a job, uh, and then actually are delivering software uh, for these clients. So, I mean, our premise is very simple. If we can deliver for those companies significantly complicated projects using graduates in their first job, um, then you can too. You just need to get the O compiler and em empower the kids to actually uh, learn that uh, and then start writing software. So let me see if I've got this right. So you're saying PwC have got you to actually use graduates to produce software that they then sell to other people? Well, in PwC's case, they use that software internally, but also they have, a, they also have a external um, customers as well that use our software. Um, PwC, um, one of the powers of O is that we write the code you would have written if you were expert in that technology. So PwC take the C-sharp from us, which has been written by our graduates, so they use O, O generates the C-sharp, we give the C-sharp to PwC. They will then take that and code scan that and everything before they put it into their uh, production environments. So we know that the whole process from the graduate writing the code right out to uh, it going into a PwC environment um, is acceptable and is of the right quality. Um, so, um, and we don't use any other technologies. So our graduates don't understand how the C Sharp works. They understand how the O works. And they might write um, a program which is a few thousand lines of O that will generate 10, 15,000 lines of, uh, of, of C Sharp. Our biggest O program to date is 85,000 lines of O, uh, and that was written by a team of graduates in their first job, um, and that uh, turned into over 500,000 lines of expert C Sharp, HTML, JavaScript, SQL, CSS. Um, our graduates don't understand how that works, and that technology is actually running in the part of their case management system. Wow. So there you have it. It's like O is the, the language of choice for entrepreneurs going forward. Thanks very much today for your time, Dr. Raj. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you Cheers, very much. Thank you.